Hello and welcome to the Gallatin County Video News. I'm Jennifer Cervellis. Roger Parker from Sparta led police on a chase Thursday night and is facing several charges. A state trooper pulled Roger over for a seatbelt violation. Roger stopped near the speedway, then drove off after an altercation with the trooper. At 8 p.m., the sheriff's department assisted in the chase. Stop six were used, but only flattened the front passenger tire. The chase then came through the city of Warsaw at 30 miles per hour. Police stopped him at the IGA parking lot. GC Video News' John Kane says he thought he was going to hit the gas truck at the Warsaw BP. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse than it was. When Roger pulled into the BP here, there's a fuel truck sitting in the parking lot. And when he jerked in there, I, I thought he was headed for it. And I stopped. That was about right here. I stopped, and the police uh, jerked in real quick to try to stop him. Uh, he did have a lot of sparks because he, you know, he didn't have his passenger front tire, and it was sparking. If he would have hit that truck, uh, there would have been a lot of hurt people. Parker is being charged with one count of endangerment, resisting arrest, assault in the third degree on a police officer, fleeing, and evading. He is currently at the Carroll County Detention Center on a $20,000 bond. To see the full video of the chase, click the link in the description. The building that used to be next to the pharmacy, called Morris's, burnt down in 2006. Here are some of the pictures taken by John Kane. The lot has remained empty since then. Well, now construction has started by the McFarlands. The new building will have office spaces for rent. This is just a reminder to everyone in Gallatin County to lock your doors in your home and your car. There have been several break-ins within the last few weeks. Some of the break-ins occurred at night while the homeowners were home. If you are a victim of a break-in, we would like to talk to you on camera. Yesterday's homecoming parade had a great turnout. People lined up on the side of US 42 in town to see it. If you would like to see the full video of the parade, again, click the link in the description. This is an announcement from Debbie Seafort. There will be a demolition derby at the fairgrounds in Glencoe on Saturday, September 26th at 7 o'clock p.m. The class of 71 gathered at the Warsaw City Park today. We're having uh, our class reunion, 1971. Uh, there were around 40 people that graduated that year. Are most of the people that are here from out of town? Uh, uh, it, you'd be surprised, probably three quarters of the people still live either in the county or surrounding counties. Um, there are about four or five that are out of state. Um, we're just planning on having a good time. This is the first time, I think they had a five-year reunion, and then this is the 38th. 38 years is a long time. So um, who was the one that was the most successful, and who was the one that, you know, nobody cares about anymore because he's nothing? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, the one that was most successful. Let's see. We didn't have any brain scientologists, you know, any brain scientist or anything. Um, I know that Ricky Ryder, or he likes to be called Rick, I'm sorry. Rick Ryder, um, I believe he is a nurse. Uh, the rest of us are pretty much, I think, office workers. I know Janie Weldon works for a law firm. Um, I'm trying to think. Right offhand, I don't know. I haven't been in touch myself with that many people. Um, we just, you know, it's been so long, and I just thought it was time for everybody to get together. That's our news for this Saturday, September 19th, 2009. And if you have a news idea, you can call us at 859-904-9112 or email us at news at gcvideonews.com. I'm Jennifer Cervellis. Thanks for watching.